is uh, mixes the M high and eight channel mic pre with 24 bit 192 kilohertz high end converter system. It's an eight channel mic pre digitally controlled with a MADI option card to direct connection to all MADI systems. The digitally controlled mic pre's are the highest quality mic pre chips and included converted chips so that we get up to 115 dB SNR which is pretty close to the maximum possible at the moment. You can use it very easily. Just press the main encoder button and you see that the gain starts flashing. You can move it in half dB steps and either all together or just select one and use just one. The same thing works for the other features like phantom power, phase, shift, MS decoding and encoding, low cut, the auto set function I will talk about in a second, and high Z for every of the eight channels available on the front panel. Let's see, we connect a microphone to the second channel of our Mixer C mic preamp. Just select the channel and use the encoder button to turn up the turn up the gain, or push the encoder button and switch on the phantom power if you're using a condenser microphone. You see that this one is flashing up. Just switch through, and the level is coming already. Now we can level it up manually and get it to the wish level in half dB steps. It's always there's a dot behind for dot 5. What we also can do is using the auto set function which makes leveling of multi-channel setups very easy. Just switch to auto set like we switch to phantom power. Press the button enable auto set and then we can pull up the game and with a um, with the headroom we have set up before to our preference, we can now make the preamp level itself. Just pull up the game and see how it levels down when it reaches the preset of minus 3 dB. So this way we just let, for example, the band play and the whole 64 channels of our complete Mali setup, for example, will level, level themselves to our preference headroom right away. Just enable the auto set, let it do the leveling, disable the auto set, and all your levels are set up perfectly to minus 3, minus 6, or minus 12 dB headroom, whatever you like. Also, there's an instrument line input on the front side, you can switch to high Z as we switch to all the other functions, just like this, and you have eight DI boxes on the front side. Here, you can switch the sample rate, 44.1, 48, same for double speed, and same for quad speed. Clockwise, you can choose the clock from word clock, from the AES input, from option, that means through the MADI signal, and internally, so switch it to master mode. The analog output can be switched to plus 24 dB, plus 19 dB, plus 13 dB, whatever your studio level is. You can save and recall settings, and you can remote control the unit via MIDI or via the option card, which is MIDI over MADI, like our other premium line products. In this case, you just connect one MADI cable and just remote control all the features of the mixer seat from your computer screen. Let's have a look at the back side of the unit. We have the microphone inputs that are also line balance inputs if you don't want to use the line balance quarter inch jacks on the front side. We have the line balance outputs. This is the slot for the Army i64 MADI option card where you have the optical and coaxial MADI connections. You have AS in and out. A that out for alternative digital outputs. You have the work clock connections with the usual termination button. You have MIDI in and out for remote controllability, which is, as I said, also possible via the MADI card, via the MADI connection. 
The MIDI board can also be used for remote controlling the gain and some of the features right out of the Pro Tools mixer window. Through our so-called Pro Tools mode, you can switch through the menu. These are the basic features of the mixer scene and combined with the high quality sound of the mic preamps and the high quality sound of the converters which are probably some of the um, quietest converter chips and mic pre chips on the market. It's the perfect setup not only for a Mardi installation but also for a studio setup where you only use the ADAT or AES outputs.